KMR, Kyle Mohan Racing, hanging out at Mazda Tricks, and I thought we would talk today, a little tech talk, about lapping WPC treatment and the side housings themselves, those cast plates. So we're going to get right into it. Happen to have a non-lapped uh, center plate, a just lapped center plate, and then some uh, customer WPC treated plates that were lapped and then WPC treated. So we're going to take a look at these different processes, talk a little bit about the benefits and what we're doing, and uh, what to look out for, and uh, why we do this specific stuff. So starting off with our non-lapped, just OEM housing. Obviously, uh, without getting into a deep inspection, um, this potentially could be used if there's no uh, O-ring blowouts or uh, significant damage anywhere. But as you get close, you can see that the side seal, corner seal, apex seal path right here has actually put a fair amount of wear in, a few thousandths deep. And same on the other side, your oil seal path um, and rotor apex seal path coming through here, all these different grooves are the seals wearing in. And eventually that causes a loss of compression, difficulty of sealing, and can cause oil leak down on startup because your oil control rings can't seal against the worn surface. Also leading into what would be the rotary's uh, head gasket area, your water seal area, if any of these grooves have damage, which some of them do right in here. Um, anything over a couple thousandths can cause premature water seal or failure, or if the groove itself is misshapen, that can be a sign of potential uh, failure to come. So one of the things that happens when we lap a used face is just like uh, decking a head or cleaning up a piston motor, you're bringing back all of that sealing area to a flat sealable surface against the rotor housing and that goes for something that would be early or late model rx8 that doesn't have the water o-ring grooves in it you're flattening that surface to go up against the rotor housing or your your mid-range uh, 86 through uh, 99 plates which have the water o-rings in them um, provided you have the material to do so we can lap those and that gives not only the combustion chamber proper sealing and sealability uh, for your best runability, but it's also bringing your water jacket area back to flat as well. So that's just talking about proper engine rebuild and maintenance, and this can be done to any variety of components. Obviously, your factory components are nitrided, so as you lap a side plate down, you are removing that nitriding, um, and you do get to a point where some people get concerned about that. So one of the things we've offered for a lot of our racing customers, um, both as a performance advantage um, or in the case that a customer is concerned about longevity, um, the WPC uh, metal surface treatment, which densifies, hardens, and uh, reduces friction to the running surface. Um, so a lot of similar properties to what the factory was doing with nitride, but this is an aftermarket surface uh, service that we offer through uh, Mazda Tricks and KMR. And if you look at how these plates look, you can see how this one has gone, the used has gone from, you know, rough to something that's smooth and usable and lapped. But then if you go to the next one, you can actually see where we're WPC treating on that main running surface. And we're not treating on this outer area because it's just not necessary. It's a waste of material and expense to the customer. So we don't do it. It's just the running surface. Um, and you can actually see how the metal looks different. Um, so you're actually able to visually see that WPC treated area, which is a friction reduction and surface hardening. So I like it. We do it on the race motors. We tested it out in uh, e-production at Mazda Tricks years ago. And, and like I always say with Mazda Tricks, if they're using it, if they're selling it, it's also something they've tested. And I've carried that theory over to KMR with uh, all of the templates, all of the porting, everything we do in-house for our customers. It's stuff that I've done on my own race cars, my own race motors. Um, so I believe in it. I know it works. At least it's worked for me. And uh, that's why I believe it works, because I've been able to make it work. So to each their own, and I know everybody has varying opinions about uh, lapping and, and all this stuff, but uh, I figured this was a really good opportunity to show three different steps, OEM non-lapped, OEM lapped, 
OEM lapped and WPC treated. And uh, even though these are different generation housings, the processes are all treated the same. So just some tips and some tech talk, keeping that BRAP alive. Um, I think, you know, if somebody were to ask, obviously a brand new Mazda OEM housing, if you can afford it, is the best starting point. But if you can't, then lapping, um, resurfacing, or if you've got uh, a lot of port work, or in this case, port work and machine work, then replacing that with a new housing just isn't as viable. Resurfacing, WPC treating is a way to almost save money and get yourself back to a new component. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why, uh, you know, I think uh, lapping and WPC treatment is viable, but uh, obviously a new component is always going to be new. And uh, in a lot of high-end race builds will actually take a brand new uh, iron plate from the factory if it's available and then send it right to WPC. Um, and I know some shops that have actually uh, lapped brand new plates because uh, even factory plates sometimes aren't perfectly flat, um, although it's a very rare. I've never had that happen, but I've heard of it. So, rotary talk, doing rotary things, Lapping, WPC treatment, available from KMR, Mazda Tricks, just let us know. And you can get your apex seals, rotor housings, bearings, anything else treated. Great to reduce friction, increase longevity, make your rotaries brap harder, make your driving experience that much happier. All right, so I'm going to get out of here. i got to go to Orlando. We're racing this weekend. But I uh, had this in, it's shipping out, so I always got to talk about it before it ships, because otherwise no one ever gets to see it. Full bridge going out real soon, and uh, just some uh, lapping and treatment that's wrapped up. All right, check out our merch. We got stuff growing. Check out the race team. Ask questions if anybody wants to know more about these treatments and services. Definitely hit us up. I think one of the most important things is cleaning. If you have a lapped component or a WPC treated component, you have to clean it until it literally can't be cleaned anymore. White rag needs to be able to wipe it and it not be dirty. So that's my final tip. Brap out of here. KMR, follow us. Say what's up. Brap, brap. <laughs>